Hi, how you doing? Justin here for lesson 132, which is the C chord. The last of the big eight, which is the main eight open chord shapes that you learn when you're starting your guitar journey. And this is the last one. This is a C chord. Now, a lot of people find the C chord a little awkward. It's maybe not quite as stretchy as the G chord, well, at least not across-wise, but it is lengthwise. It's a little bit funny. So let's go to a close-up, see if we can sort out the different ways of getting this stretch. It is just a matter of practicing it. I've never, ever, ever, ever had a student who's not been able to do it. I've had students that have really struggled and they've felt like they were never going to do it. But if you persevere, you'll find that the C chord's pretty damn easy. Let's have a look at it. Here we are looking at the C chord. Now, hopefully it doesn't look too bad but it is a little bit of a stretch. So let's go through the problems and solutions for this chord. So first one, first finger, first fret, second string. Nothing on the E string and nothing on the G string. That's nothing on the first string or nothing on the third string. Second finger is reaching over here to the second fret of the fourth string. And then third finger has got to stretch over here to the third fret of the fifth string. Now, there's a few different little tips we can give you for getting this stretch nice. First of all, if you play it really square like this, it's actually quite difficult to do with the fingers parallel to the frets. You do have to, that's, I can feel that stretching my hand doing that right now. Now, if you look at the way that I'm doing it, I'm kind of laying the fingers over a little bit. Now, if I took my hand off, they're kind of, it looks like they're all in a line. They're all kind of touching each other. And you can see that the angle now is kind of that way a little bit. It's more, it's, it's actually, they kind of look like they're pointing at my eyes, whereas that way they're pointing at the ceiling. We just turn it around a little bit like that and you get a bit more of a, it, it definitely makes it easier to play, yeah? So this way you're really having to stretch the distance between your fingers. Here you're just changing how far each finger is reaching out. That makes a big difference for that one. Now you can probably see there my thumb flopping over there, but actually we want to get that thumb behind for you now. Later on you can use your thumb over here, but for you now, back behind. Now the other important thing with the C chord is that we want to make sure that the tip of this third finger is muting the sixth string. So it shouldn't press down on this string. It, the very tip of the finger just touches the string and stops it from ringing out. Now the thing that you'll find here with this chord as well, especially when you go on to do the strum pick out strum, is there's quite a few places where fingers can lean over and touch other strings. So there's the correct sound for it. Now the first note, which is the fifth string, you're probably not going to have too much trouble with. It's pretty straightforward. The next note here, which is the fourth string, it's very likely here that your third finger is going to be leaning over and touching that fourth string. So that's the first thing that you want to look out for is making sure that finger's nice and up. Then we have the open G string, which of course this finger, if it's leaning over a bit flat, will mute that G string. First finger should be okay. Not many people have a trouble with that note. But then the open E string, if the first finger's leaning over a little bit too much, you'll get the, the open E string muted. So it really is. The trick with C chord is one, don't be too square like this. Allow your fingers to be a little bit of an angle and also to make sure that you're really on the points with the fingers. Don't let them lay down too flat or you'll just always be muting the strings next to them. Okay, I hope you've had fun stretching out for that C chord. It is a little bit of a tough one, but it's not that bad and it just seems impossible right now. But after a week or two, your fingers will have limbered up and it'll be a lot easier. After a month or two, you'll wonder why you ever had, ever had a problem with it at all because it, it, it's not that bad in the grand scheme of guitar chords.